Hey guys, excellent, awesome for tuning in again. Today we're going to look at the XLR condenser microphone uh, starter kit from the company. Uh, I hope I pronounce this correctly, Tonor. And to be precise, I have the BM700 set in, I believe that is black. There should be also probably blue and a red edition. And what I'm simply going to do in this video, I'm going to do a quick unboxing of this starter kit because the kit itself includes a microphone, a microphone arm, uh, cables and a preamp and maybe if you remember in the past I did a bunch of other reviews on my channel for like various microphones and other preamps but the downside with that obviously is that the gear that I uh, usually reviewed is a you'll usually a little bit pricier and also uh, while you can mix and match different components that can also make it more complicated because you have so many different audio interfaces so many different microphones and so many different preamps so that's why a starter kit uh, such as this is probably uh, really good for beginners who just want to start out maybe dip their foot into the water so to speak to just see whether they like uh, podcasting or live streaming or maybe doing voiceovers so guys without further ado you're watching the introductory part in part two we're going to do a quick unboxing uh, i sh uh, show you a few close-up shots and uh, assemble this uh, microphone arm on my table and we look a little bit at the build quality and then in uh, part three, we're going to do uh, the sound test and see how this microphone sounds uh, when we do an audio recording. And then I'll do a summary and conclusion. Guys, awesome for tuning in. Uh, let's get rolling with this uh, product review. Let's get started. Now, guys, let's have a closer look at the Tonor conden XLR condenser microphone kit for podcasting and live streaming. And I'm quickly going to unbox this for you show you what's inside it's a pretty big package with a lot of uh, accessories so it's a really nice uh, audio gear kit usually you would have to buy uh, most of these components individually which can be a little bit cumbersome here we find a manual manual and maybe i can show you the specs right here it's also important when you pick a microphone that you pay a little bit attention to the pickup pattern this is a unidirectional pickup pattern which is good it focuses towards your voice here are the uh, components that are in the package. So uh, let's quickly have a look. What we can find here, we have a USB cable. That's kind of interesting. I think we are gonna could use that for the uh, preamp in a second. Then we have this uh, foam protector for your microphone. It also can be used to enhance the sound. So ideally, if you speak into a condenser mic, you wanna put uh, that on top or in front of it so that certain sounds that you make while speaking get filtered out it will increase this uh, improve the sound i can show this to you in a second we have the pre uh, preamp and the mic so that's also something i always point out in my videos there are different types of microphones uh, usually we distinguish between dynamic mics and condenser mics this is a condenser mic with an xlr connector and because it's a condenser mic it a tends to be more sensitive and B, it needs a 48 volt phantom power. And basically that's why uh, Tonor included this tiny little preamp, which you can connect the microphone to, which will improve the sound, uh, the quality of your sound. And then uh, also one thing to note that if you're using a condenser mic such as this, instead of a dynamic one, because they are more sensitive, they could also potentially, let's say you do a podcast or live stream and you, your, you, your hand bounces on the table, then these vibrations could potentially transfer more easily into an XLR mic versus a dynamic mic. And therefore you have this shock mount, which also remedies that issue. So it looks pretty good. You have the microphone arm here, which I'm going to install in a second with a long cable. And then uh, this goes into your computer. So you also don't need an additional sound card. You can just plug this right in and that should give you a good sound. And Fun fact, because this seems to be the BM700. Um, if you look on my channel, I think I tested the BM700 uh, from a different, uh, a similar kind of mic before. So you can also compare that if you want. Um, obviously you could connect, theoretically you could connect the XLR mic to a different preamp later on. Let's say uh, you want to upgrade your gear at some point. For example, you could swap out this preamp against a different sound card or something like this. So that's also a real plus point about XLR. You can usually mix and match your gear, but you still have an easy to pick starter set where everything is included. So guys, I'm gonna quickly install this uh, at my desk 
and show you a few close-up shots and then we're gonna do the sound recording. And guys, so that you can uh, follow me with uh, the way I connect everything, I put all the parts here on my desk and the first thing we're gonna do in a second is to connect this preamp via USB to the computer. The preamp takes its power via USB and then we're gonna take this uh, cable, connect it to the preamp, run it into the computer and from the microphone we're gonna put it into the shock mount uh, and the sound is going to travel from the microphone through the microphone arm into the preamp and then into the computer. So that's the basic setup. That's how you connect it. And if you want, you can also use this to improve your sound even further, although uh, it's optional. But uh, again, guys, this is a really good uh, entry level set. So usually if you have to buy every piece separately, that yeah, usually would cost more. So that's a really interesting budget alternative. And I'm really interested to see how this sounds because usually I'm using the more expensive gear. So let's see what the performance we're gonna get out of this. And guys, this uh, is the microphone uh, uh, arm mount. So uh, pay a little bit of attention where you position this on your desk because uh, the microphone arm that's movable, it's not uh, that long. So in my case, I put it directly behind my monitor. That gives me a good range and you can tie this down with this mechanism here. Maybe pay attention, a little bit attention to the wood. If you have a desk, if it's a very soft wood, um, if you turn it too tight, uh, it might leave some marks on the, but it's on the underside, so it shouldn't be that much of a big deal. And then here uh, you insert the microphone arm and then you can also fixate it like that. So let's just do that and then see how it looks uh, finished. Now guys, so far this is pretty good. Uh, this is the final, almost final result. Uh, I put everything into the microphone arm and we're gonna run the audio cable down here into the preamp that I uh, put here prepped on the dis uh, desk already. And then uh, we plug, we're just gonna have to plug in the USB for power and this uh, you know, line in connector into the computer sound card. And then we should be ready to do a first test recording. So far, I really have to say it fits really well on the desk. And uh, yeah, I put it behind my monitor, but uh, obviously you can move it around just right in front of it and position it accordingly. And uh, yeah, in case if I have it put a little bit more to the side, I can also move it in a little bit further. So that's something I'm gonna find out through tri trial and error, uh, where's the best uh, positioning so you can quickly adjust this. So let's quickly plug in the 3.5 millimeter connector into my Mac Pro. Guys, I'm using the Mac Pro. Uh, in your case, it's probably gonna be a Windows machine, but since I do a lot of YouTube videos, I like to add it on the Mac. And then second, the power connector for the preamp from the Tonor preamp. And then we should be ready to go. Let's quickly have a look back here. And that's the final result. Uh, obviously you will have a switch on here so you can just push the switch to turn this on and off and uh, yeah great impression so far let's see how the sounds oh i have to do this as well and bang guys uh, that's the microphone kit uh, xlr microphone condenser microphone kit completely installed and ready to go so let's fire up the computer i'm going to jump into the computer switch over the sound from the camera mic to this mic and then uh, do the listening test so let's jump to the sound test part now guys, excellent, we jumped into the computer and right now you're listening to the Tonor uh, XLR condenser microphone kit and uh, maybe I can show you a quick picture here. I put the, the red uh, button in and you see the blue indicator light uh, shows you that the preamp is on. And yeah guys, what do you think about the sound quality of this mic? Um, I can get a little bit closer, so usually uh, if you vary the distance a lot while you talk, this can also influence your sound. Um, the most uh, important part, no matter whether you're on the Mac or on the Windows, is just to go to your sound settings and then uh, pick a volume level. Try to set the volume level uh, as close to the maximum as possible. I think um, a good way to show this is uh, to you in my recording software. Usually uh, the ideal is around uh, two, minus 12 dB, I believe. Uh, minus 10 is also okay. So try to stay in this yellow range and uh, don't go too close because if I get close and I talk with a loud voice, um, it will potentially peak. But other than that, because this is a microphone that you basically connect to your sound card, um, it might also interest you to note that usually your sound card supports different recording settings. 
So in my case, I, I picked a 24 bit, 48 kilohertz. But as you can see here, depending on what kind of sound card you have, you might be able to choose different settings. So a lot of uh, entry level components. So let's say you have a budget motherboard uh, with a budget anal analog to digital converter, then it might only have 16 bits. Um, if you have a little bit better motherboard, then it might have 24 bits already. So that's also something I want to explain to you. Um, it's not just about the microphone and the cable and the preamp. It's also about uh, what kind of sound card do you use? Do you have a, a sound card with a little bit better components that has a little bit more premium analog to digital converter versus you have a budget sound card with a budget analog to digital converter. So the converters also affect the sound. So that's uh, basically all for this right now. Just, uh, yeah, you have gotten an impression of, of this entry level kit. Uh, I think it sounds pretty okay, given that you get a lot of gear for the price. And uh, I think what I'm quickly going to do right now is jump to the summary and conclusion part. Ah, one thing I wanted to show you. Obviously, I prefer to put it like this, but yet someone else might like to swing it around like this. So that's the benefit of the microphone arm. You're a little bit uh, flexible on how you position it. Uh, I per personally prefer this other method, but I've seen people using it like this as well. And my guess is the benefit of this is um, if you don't use it, you just move it to the side and it's next to your screen. And if you want to do a live streaming or podcasting or something, then you just pull it down and it's right in front of you. And if you don't need it anymore, then you put it back again. So that's probably the most common use scenario. So guys, this concludes the test of the Tonor XLR mic, the condenser microphone. So let's jump to the summary and conclusion part. Yeah, guys, uh, this already concludes the test of the Tonor XLR condenser microphone starter kit for podcasting and live stream streaming i have shown you exactly what's inside this package you get the bm 700 xlr microphone i tested the black set you can also potentially choose different colors like red and blue and so on so you have further seen how to install this on your desk personally i prefer it to mount this directly behind my monitor that way uh, when i want to use the mic i just pull it down i can talk directly into it with my voice and if i don't need it I just move it out uh, of sight, so to speak. Uh, I can show uh, overlay a picture right here uh, so that you see that. And I also uh, explain to you the various recording settings that you potentially can pick on your sound card to improve the sound even more. Uh, keep in mind that I also reminded you of that the sound, uh, all the sound that you get is always, uh, how do you say, amalgamation of different factors. So it's basically the mic, the cable, the preamp, what kind of sound card you have, uh, how you put on the volume. So uh, mic technique, those are all things that affect the sound that you ultimately get out of this kit. And uh, guys, I also invite you to head over to my channel page because maybe you want to learn a little bit more about different pieces of audio gear. So I show this to you here. If you look in the audio section, you can learn about uh, what's an XLR mic, what's a dynamic mic, when do I need the 48 volt phantom power, when, when, when do I don't need it. Uh, what's a compressor and so on and by learning a little bit about it you will get uh, better results over time with your audio recordings no matter whether you use them for podcasting or live streaming or maybe for other purposes uh, awesome guys uh, i think uh, for beginners this is good if you just want to get your feet wet maybe you're not sure yet whether your youtube channel or podcast will take off you can just uh, do a little bit trial and error or if you know you want to do this uh, see it more seriously then maybe compare some other gear on my channel. Guys, awesome for tuning in. Have fun with your new gear, no matter which you choose. Uh, I'm excited you're here. I see you in the next video and a subscriber. Uh, all the best to you and all the success. Take care. And guys, because you just watched uh, my review of the Tonor XLR uh, condenser microphone set, you might also want to compare it against, uh, for example, the BM800 microphone. Uh, I have a bunch of other microphone reviews on my channel. So you can get a good idea of how different microphones or different audio interfaces sound. Guys, I'm truly amazed about how many people have already subscribed. You can subscribe right now as well. I see you in the next video. All the best you. Take care.